Probably smoking nice. Well, I put a slippery on it. Yeah. Grizzly Country Outdoors. This is Grizzly Country Outdoors. Sitting in the backyard hoping to see a hummingbird. Sitting in the backyard here, uh, just in below our birch tree, trying to catch a hummingbird here at the feeder. Most of them. Where I'm sitting, I'm only not nine feet, maybe eight, eight feet from the feeder. Really close, so um, if you make any sudden movement. When a when a bird comes in, they they they, they take off. So it's it's really tricky to get a video of. a couple times now. Just just as a bird came in, I moved and I, I scared the thing off before I could get a video. Most of the hummingbirds that we we'll get here will be ruby-throated hummingbirds. But about in around the second week of May, sometimes we'll see rufous hummingbirds that are migrating through. But they they never stay. Then throughout the summer, we'll see the uh, ruby throats, and they'll be here from the middle of May till about. Oh, there's one now. That's it. That's a ruby, a male ruby-throated hummingbird. And he's gone. Anyway, the, the ruby-throated hummingbirds will be here from the middle of May till the third week of August, and then they migrate. And through the first half of the summer, almost all of the hummingbirds you'll see here will be the males. They go back and forth to the nest. Um, starting, I don't know, middle of July, that's about when the females the females will be out the feeder a lot. They're recuperating from sitting on their, their brood of young birds, right? Well, that was cool, we got to see what. I guess we've been feeding hummingbirds here for going on 17, 18 years. The nectar we make ourselves, it's just one cup of sugar to four cups of water and, and you just you know, heat it. You don't nest. You don't want to boil it. You just want to heat it long enough to where you get all the bubbles forming in the bottom of your pan. Really uh, give it a good stir, and then that's all it needs. You don't put any food coloring in it either. It's not necessary at all. One thing about it when the hummingbirds come, they don't typically stay on the feeder a long time. You'll get some that'll drink from all four flowers, and those guys, that's always interesting to see that. And then sometimes they'll uh, they'll come to the feeder, they'll feed, and then they'll zip from the feeder under the birch tree right up, up above my head. And they'll sit there for a little bit, kind of preen themselves, and back to the feeder. But you don't know. They do whatever they want. But all of the hummingbirds that we see, they all, they come from the poplar bush back to the north of our house, back towards the Athabasca River. They're just back there. 
I always thought it'd be cool to uh, sit there and just try to figure out where they come from the bush and try to locate their nest. Now I'm sitting at the, ba uh, the back gate into the yard. What I'm hoping, because the birds always come from the bush right behind me. And I'm kind of hidden in here behind the fence. So what I'm hoping is we're going to catch a hummingbird zipping right over my head going into the feeder. And we'll get the flight of the hummingbird. Okay, a hummingbird just landed at the feeder. And I'm hoping that he turns and flies right over top of us when he leaves. As uh, they nest in the bush just right behind where I'm sitting. Oh, yep, yeah, there you go. Yeah, just flew right up across. <laughs> 